guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to be showing you MIUI on the Kindle Fire. Uh, this ROM is not 100%, but it does look great and it is something a whole lot better than the Amazon Kindle Stock UI. In my opinion, this is going to give you a more Android-like experience. Uh, and this thing is really hugely customizable. You can choose all kinds of different themes. You can make this look a whole lot like iOS, so you can make your... Kindle Fire look like a iPad, or you can make it look like an ice cream sandwich tablet. That being said, let's go ahead and jump into the quick overview, and then I'll show you guys how to install it. So you see here, it looks basically like you have a giant MIUI ROM phone. You can see where it shows, well, there's a CRT screen like in uh, Gingerbread or Ice Cream Sandwich. So if you pull down... It's not going to give you phone or text message options, obviously, because you're on a tablet with no service, as you see here. So pull that down, and this brings you into your home screen. Uh, you can have that little neat animation effect on the launcher just by changing that in the settings. Uh, there is no app drawer with this, because this is MIUI. This is supposed to be really like iPhone-ish. Uh, so you don't have an app drawer. All your apps are stored on, uh, on your launcher screen here on your home screen. Uh, so whatever apps you accumulate, they'll be there. You can interchange them like in iOS. So just drag and drop, kind of like that. And you can bring it back down here to the dock bar. Uh, you can make little folders. Well, you should have been able to. I don't... There's a way to make folders here. Okay, so you can actually make a folder, drag and drop that. Any kind of widget will be down here. If you just long press, you'll have your widgets. And there's tons to choose from there. Let's see, we'll try to, how do we get back here? Oh my gosh. You can, well you see that you can add home screens here, or take screens away. So you can add as many screens as you want here. And take them away. Just by pressing the X. I've only been playing around with this for a couple of days here. So you see I'm not totally 100% familiar with it. I remember it from when I've had it on my phone. I'm just trying to figure out how we get back here. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, so... You'll see that all your buttons are here, and you can go home. Okay, that's how you do it. Okay, so you just press the home button, and that brings you there. You have your back button, and you have a menu button there. You have a search button, and an X button to get away from there. So you don't have any buttons down here. All your buttons are there. And if you go into themes, this is where you can choose your themes. Uh, so this is the current theme that I had. If we go back one, I can go into local themes or I can go to online themes and choose from like thousands of different themes that you can download and install on the fly, which is really cool. If I go to local themes, I'll show you guys that you can have like an ice cream sandwich-esque experience just by pressing apply. It's applying the theme now. And all of a sudden I have an ice cream sandwich look and feel to my device. See, now it looks more ice cream sandwichy. Uh, if we go into settings, we can uh, go into the themes here. Like I said, we can do our themes, or we can go into wallpapers. There's tons of different wallpapers that you can choose from there, and even lock screens that you can choose from. If you go to launcher, uh, you have the rotation here. I chose the 3D cube. That's how I was getting that neat transition effect. And if we go back home, we do have the MIUI File Explorer, we have MIUI Music, and MIUI Tools down here as well. So actually guys, there's a lot here to play around with. This is a pretty cool ROM for your Kindle Fire. It's going to give it a unique look and feel. Uh, more than likely, none of your friends will have a ROM like this on their Kindle Fire, and they will be impressed. Uh, so now that we've done all that, we've gone through our overview, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a quick install tutorial. So power down your device. And we're going to boot into Twerp. If you do not have the Team Win Recovery Project installed on your Kindle Fire device, uh, check out my channel. I have 
a installation tutorial on how to get TWRP installed on your device. Uh, once you have that installed, you'll power it up. And as soon as you see this, you're going to go down here and press the power button until it turns orange, like that. And Team Win Recovery Project should pop up. Uh, so guys, you can head to the link in the description uh, to download this MIUI ROM. I'll have the download link there available for you. Uh, you do not have to have it directly on your SD card. It can be in your download folder on your SD card. That's fine. That's where it will download. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is go to wipe and you'll do factory reset. When that's finished, you'll go cache. When that's finished, you'll go Dalvik cache. So if I hit factory reset, uh, you would press that. It would go ahead and wipe your data. Then you'll go to cache, wipe cache. I'm not going to do it now because I already have the ROM installed. Go back and Dalvik cache go back. One thing that I would strongly suggest before you get started is that you do click this backup button and make a backup of your stock ROM in case you do want to go back to stock. That's the easiest way is just to restore your stock ROM. Uh, that being said, once you finish wiping everything, you would then go to install and you would just scroll down to your download folder, which is where it would download automatically. You'll find MIUI.US underscore blaze underscore sign underscore LSD dot zip. You will choose that. It'll go ahead and flash it. Uh, once you choose flash, it'll go ahead and flash that. And once it's flashed, you'll go back and reboot and reboot system. And if everything's gone well, you'll see your your fire logo there for just a minute. And then it'll boot up into MIUI. Uh, there's plenty of other ROMs that are being worked on currently for the Kindle Fire, such as CyanogenMod 9, which is an ice cream sandwich experience on the Kindle Fire. CM7 is being worked on, and there are also several other ROMs in the works. So uh, guys, check back to this channel. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel, and I'll try to keep you guys updated on the latest ROMs for the Kindle Fire, as well as any other mods or hacks that come out for the Kindle Fire. And uh, there is your custom custom boot animation that came with that ice cream sandwich theme along with the lock screen, which is pretty neat. Guys, check out droidmoderx.com for all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks and news for your Android device. You can follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx with an E, not a 3. And as always, be sure to subscribe, uh, thumbs up the video, and comment below. Thanks, guys.